Hey everyone, Joe here. Let's take a look at how we can group tracks on Pro Tools. Now I'm going to be showing you this on the PC version of Pro Tools 11, but it works on PC or Mac uh, and any version of Pro Tools. Now grouping tracks is really useful in Pro Tools because it means that you can solo and mute things. You can make edits to the volume and panning and all sorts uh, across multiple tracks uh, just by changing it on one track. So let's take a look. If we wanted to group the piano, and piano 2 for example what we can do it's very straightforward we can click on one of them hold the shift key click on the other one now if you wanted to do more you could then hold shift and click on more tracks or if you hold control on PC or command on Mac you can select individual ones but let's just select the two piano tracks first and then you want to press Control G on PC or Command G on Mac. So Control G, and then it's going to bring this window up here, Create Group. So you can see on the left, we've got all the tracks in your entire session. And on the right, we've got the two tracks that you're about to group. If you wanted to add more to the group, for example, you didn't, you didn't highlight all the ones you needed, uh, you can click on one of the, the available ones click add and then it's in the group or you can do the same thing the other way around by clicking on the one in the, that's in the group and then clicking remove let's give this group a name piano now we can choose what control the group actually has so we can change it to edit only which means if you make any edits on one of the tracks in the group it will make the same edits on the other track or we can do mix which means any kind of mixing changes with the levels or panning um, for example it's going to affect all the tracks in the group or we can do both which is normally what I go for um, bear in mind that if you make changes to a plugin on one of the tracks in the group it's not going to affect the plugin on the other one um, they're separate from the groups the plugins now we can also change with more granular controls exactly what the grouping affects so if you want mute to be copied across all tracks in the group you can select that solos just leave it as default for now and then you can also select an ID number just a letter to name your group basically which we'll have a look at in a second how we can use those let's use that as the default click OK and then you'll see I can now solo I can mute if I try and make edits let's make an edit where there are two two sections it's going to make the same changes on both tracks now. Also resizing the tracks, volume. Okay, let's open the mixer. You can see down there you've got groups. Now if you can't see that, it's probably that that little, uh, little window is hidden there. You can just click that and it'll pop open. And then you can see we've got that piano group at the bottom there. And it's got that ID number letter I should say that we gave it B um, you can turn off the group by clicking on it in which case it's gonna have no effect we can turn it back on and then the group is active again now what the B is is a shortcut so as long as you have letter shortcuts turned on it means that if we press B now with the uh, the mixer window showing we can turn it off and on easily now if you want to make any changes to the group you can right click on the group you can click modify and then it will bring that modify groups window back up with the same controls as before now you can also delete the group you can have a look at what tracks are in the group and a few other controls there and that's it that's how you use groups in Pro Tools really useful to know right off the bat if you're going to be editing and mixing in Pro Tools now as always if you have any questions about what you've seen today just leave a comment and I'll reply and if you want to see more tips and tricks for Pro Tools and other mixing and editing techniques then just hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time